Switching gears a bit and talking about wetland areas here. This is a uh, area, I wouldn't really call it a, a solid wetland. Yes, uh, the cattails kind of grow, but it dries out a couple times throughout the year. In the spring, it holds water. Right now, it's dry. But uh, when I first started with the goats, I put them in here and they really didn't eat the cattails. But it was later in the fall and things have already gone dormant and they've gone dry. This year, I tried this area in about peak growing season, you know, June or July. They're all nice and green. As you can see, they came through and grazed them all back really nicely. And what I thought was interesting is that you don't, none of them that I see here are uh, basically suckering or regrowing back. Uh, I'm not saying that the plant is totally dead, but at least for this season, there's no cattails coming back from the areas that they cut them. And cattails are, there's a, there's a native and there's non-native. And I remember even in my ecology classes in college, there's some people that believe that cattails are invasive. They just invaded North America maybe a couple hundred years ago, and now we think they're good. So I, I and from the pond background in my pond business, I, I, cattails, as you know, they just can get too heavy and kind of out of control. And I really like to see more of the irises and, and some of the other more native plants, marsh marigolds, that kind of stuff along here. So if you have a property, up around an area or a lake associate or home association around a pond. I think if you hit it at just the right time, get them to get some of these cattails back so you can kind of see some of that open water. Then again, we got to check first to see what the classification of the wetland is because you just can't be doing stuff in wetlands that uh, um, without uh, proper proper permits and such. But just showing that uh, that they like the cattails and we're starting to get some of the forbs in the back or part of this pond. You, there's some irises that are starting to come back up and uh, just kind of neat to see. So I just think the goats and what they eat and how they manage vegetation, we're just on the tip of the iceberg of all the different plants that we can be working on. Right now we've obviously been concentrating more on the, the buckthorn, the garlic mustard, and the honeysuckle, but there's other vegetation that I think can be managed well. It'll be good for the ecosystem and create more diversity.